The first time I got to climb the rugged peaks of the San Gabriel Mountains, out of breath I sat down and heard what I was a little bit disappointed in. It was the rush of the, the freeway down below. And my friend Dan turned to me and simply pointed upwards. And I saw the gentle swaying of the trees and realized that, in fact, it was the wind I was hearing. And the San Gabriel Mountains continue to provide pleasant surprises like that for me uh, over my two years, working to advocate for their protection with the Wilderness Society as part of San Gabriel Mountains Forever. The San Gabriel Mountains are the backyard metropolis, the backyard for a metropolis of 17 million Southland residents. And this provides a unique challenge an exciting opportunity to preserve this place and manage it for future generations. The federal government should strive to preserve the last remaining wild places and form an inspired national recreation area to connect our future generations to these public lands and inspire the connected generations to continue that legacy. The first task of protecting those wild places is critical for wildlife and the human experience. Our mountains are home to creatures from the black bear to the mountain yellow-legged frog to the red-tailed fox. And it's important that we finish the wilderness system to create connected habitat for species like the Nelson bighorn sheep and provide protections in the lower Southlands to provide that ecological staircase as they move up to the high peaks of those mountains that they climb way better than I do. When we protect rivers like the West Fork of the San Gabriel River, trout thrive. And so do the children who learn to fish there with their grandpa. Even if you never visit the San Gabriel Mountains, just use it to figure out which way is north when you're driving on the freeway. <laughs> Protecting these places is important. It's important because you drink the water. The Angeles Forest is a source for over one-third of the drinking water supply for the most populous county, Los Angeles County, in the entire country. We must designate these mountains with a protective status of wilderness, adding 30,000 acres to the existing system and adding 44 miles of wild and scenic rivers. As demonstrated by your applause and nine local city endorsements and the San Gabriel Valley Council of Governments endorsements uh, and hundreds, 1,800 letters from citizens the community support is clear. For these protections should be passed by Congress, and we're encouraged that Congresswoman Chu mentioned working with Congressman Dreyer to establish such protections. Martine was talking earlier about the other step in establishing a, a visionary national recreation area, and that is really another critical part to ensuring this protective this place is protected for future generations. And it is because the Angeles Forest accounts for 70% of LA County's open space that we should recognize this unique burden and the US Forest Service should not bear that burden alone. We need a unique partnership with the National Park Service and the US Forest Service to work together in administering this national recreation area. Uh, I'm glad that these two gentlemen are sitting right next to each other <laughs> uh, because it's going to take support from not only the community and the Congress but the administration to ensure that this vision of uniquely working together to encourage outreach and education, promoting healthy recreation, and preserving that incredible resource we have in the San Gabriel Mountains. Others spoke about the benefits of connecting urban communities to our public lands and indeed this is the best way to ensure the legacy of America's great outdoors. We must start by inspiring the next generation of stewards. And all of our work must have that goal. 
It is preserving our wild places that offers a space for one to discover themselves on that steep, rugged climb to the top of Mount Baldy. It is creating a national recreation area that triggers a school project of a third grader writing about the Arroyo Toad that creates the next scientist, the next steward for our future generations. Thank you.